Is why are journalists so afraid of covering Trump events? We don't hear a lot from Trump events. And in large part, it's because the media has stopped sending reporters. Why has the media, by and large, stopped sending reporters? Because they get threatened. NPR did a report on this uh, this morning. Uh, that former, Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump's threats to jail journalists and control national news outlets has made work more dangerous for journalists. The study, this is a study that was published uh, by NPR, or, uh, you know, uh, pointed to by NBR, NPR. And a quote, this is from the study, quote, a hostile crowd quickly surrounded a freelance journalist at a Michigan Trump rally. They began shouting threats at her, including, I hope you're murdered, and I hope you're dismembered, and I hope someone rapes you before they murder you. Aren't these Trump followers such lovely people? The International Women's Media Foundation, which did the study, found 36%, they surveyed hundreds of journalists for this, by the way, found 36% of them said that they have faced or been threatened with physical violence on the job, reporting that MAGA fans often carry weapons at Trump events. By the way, have you noticed how Republicans are starting to change their pronunciation of MAGA? It sounds too close to maggot. I was going to say MAGA, like, you know, hey, we're in Europe now. <laughs> right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Trump has pledged to uh, jail reporters who won't identify their sources. Uh, this is what he said at a rally in Texas two days ago. He said, when this person realizes he's going to be the bride of another prisoner shortly, I'll he says, he will say, I'd very much like to tell you exactly who that was. New York Times publisher A.G. Schultzberger who is in large part responsible for Trump's, you know, current position in the polls because the New York Times has so, so assiduously and frequently and repetitively sane-washed to Donald Trump. He says, uh, projections from the press could be worn away by either authoritarian leaders or by populist leaders who rally their support, supporters against independent media. Uh, oh, excuse me, this was Times, Times executive editor Joseph Kahn. Uh, he told NPR's Steve Inskeep, he said, we shouldn't pretend that they're only vulnerable in a place like Hungary or Turkey. They are also vulnerable here. Right. But he's talking about independent media. He, I, apparently these guys at New, the New York Times think that they are, uh, you know, impervious to anything. Donald Trump claims that uh, as president, he will have unchecked extreme power, is his phrase. He says, it's called extreme power. You have extreme power as president. You say, close the border, and the border's closed. That's it. Very simple. Trump's pledge to use the, uh, his extreme power, says Charles Nelson of the National Nurses United, quote, is what the Supreme Court has created by overthrowing the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. A second term poses too big a risk for Americans to take. I mean, this is, this is just wild stuff. It's just getting wilder and wilder every day.